Welcome to the project demonstration of power factor correction of EV charger using bridgeless isolated Zeta Leo converter. So we are using the Zeta Leo converter. This one we developed and the circuit diagram of this one proposed circuit diagram which we got from the base paper. So this is the input directly AC we are providing without using any bridge converter. We are converting the AC 230 volts to around 18 to 20 volts DC outputs and that was given input to the battery pack through this LM2596 voltage regulator. So why because we are using lithium ion battery of 11.1 volt and this battery pack consists of 3 3.7 volts uh, 2600 milliamps and these three are in series so we will get 3.7 into 3 we will get the 11.1 volts DC output and the charging voltage for this one is 13.5 maximum so we can't provide more than that so the, for that purpose we need to regulate the uh, in output which is coming out from this Zeta Leo converter to the 13.5 volts and that will be done with the help of LM2596 uh, voltage regulator so the flow is 230 volts AC input to this uh, Zeta Leo converter so without using any rectifier circuits and with the help of these inductors we are using these transformers as the 1 is to 1 transformers we can see that so these two uh, transformers we are using the these two transformers and the MOSFETs are present which will get the triggers from the peak microcontroller and the output is directly around 18 to 20 volts DC and that DC voltage is input to the LM2596 voltage regulator and after this uh, voltage regulator the output is given as input to this battery pack to charge that and the output of this one is input to the voltage source inverter so means Zeta Leo to the device tool Zeta Leo Zeta Leo to the uh, so called LM2596 and after that battery pack and then to the voltage source inverter which can handle up to 30 amps and the output to this BLDC motor which is operated of 12 volts maximum. So here we have provided an extra source of charging instead of charging from Zeta Leo converter because uh, we have implemented the theoretically Zeta Leo converter practically so sometimes the MOSFETs may get heat up but the charging time for this battery pack is at least of 4 hours maximum 4 hours. So after that you need to have this charging circuit. So the system can handle up to 2 to 3 4 hours maximum but in between that if is any heating was occurred from this MOSFETs so we need to protect that so for that purpose we are providing the extra source of charging that is from the transformer and bridge converter this is a bridgeless converter and this is a bridge converter so just on the this is only uh, this is another part of the project actually this is only for secondary source of battery charging circuits so when you on this charger just on it for maximum 4 hours 2 hours minimum maximum 4 hours so you can keep the battery for 2 hours charging is enough for our project demonstration so once our time completes you can of this or bridge converter and while demonstration the same output will be there here they will get the LED indication over here also so the main purpose of the Zeta converter is generally to run the BLDC motor we need constant voltage constant current source as we are getting the battery power supply which is a constant voltage constant current only then what is the purpose of this one means if you want to charge a battery in less time in faster manner instead of providing the uh, rectifier based charging input voltage we are providing the Zeta, Zeta Leo converter then we will get the less harmonics than the bridge converter so which has the less harmonics from here one so when we provide the less harmonics one we can increase the battery life as well as battery performance so in real time so in coming to the EV vehicles when you are running the BLDC motor as we know that any EV vehicle come with the AC induction motors or BLDC motors most of the EV vehicles come with the two wheelers BLDC motors only to run that we go we're going to use the lithium ion batteries or lithium polymer batteries nowadays lithium polymer is not preferable as a fire resistance are occurring that's why we are using the lithium ion batteries so these lithium ion batteries need to be charged in less time and also it to need to perform the with uh, around 90 percent of accuracy with more lifetime for that purpose we need to charge this in a such a manner of uh, without harmonics based that will be done with the help of the Zeta, uh, Zeta Leo converter and that output is input to this one through the LM2596 again so let us see the demonstration before demonstration you should keep the battery under full charge with the help of this bridge converter for safe mode and now you can on this power supply to this uh, 230 volts input over Zeta Leo converter and now the process will be done initially this will be converted into the pulsating DC with the help of these two MOSFETs and before that with the help of this uh, 1 to 1 transformers we will step down that 
again then uh, it will come into the D, uh, pulsating dc with help of this capacitors and inductors we will provide the uh, pure dc voltage of 18 to 20 volts maximum and that is input to the lm2596 we regulate we set the output voltage up to 13.5 volts as a charging voltage for the battery pack is 13.5 and the output of this one is input to the our microcontroller the microcontroller will start produce the signals to the vsi in water voltage source in water and after that output is given as input to the three phase bldc motor so three phases here so let us see that when we on that this beeps comes from the uh, bldc motor you can see that like that it has to provide the sounds the tick tick should be there then only it can rotate if the second beeps not coming no need to worry there is indication of battery low then off that keep the battery charging and you can on that now okay as the motor we are using its maximum of uh, 8 amps and uh, the rpm is going to be the 18000 rpm rotations per minute from this pldc motor so once system will on and off two times then after it has to settle the pldc motor that beeps indicating that it is producing the signals to the uh, vsi and once it, once it's uh, initialized properly then only it rotates